Now, this is uh, <clears throat> another very common uh, type of graph you get for Asia state. So what you need to do is this. So PV equals to NRT. You are sketching PV over RT, which is equals to N. So therefore, it's going to be a constant where N equals to 1 for one more guess. So this means that if you sketch PV over RT, against P, you are going to get a straight line for ideal guess. Okay, so this, this line over here represents the ideal guess. <clears throat> now, what you are looking out for is the deviation from ideality. So when it goes either below or above the line, that is when it deviates from ideality. And usually what we are concerned with is the part over here, okay, the deviation over here. Okay, the greater the deviation, okay, is due to the greater IMF, okay, the stronger IMF. So for example, CO2 uh, is IDID interactions and it has a stronger IDID compared to hydrogen. Hydrogen is also IDID. So hydrogen is a very small uh, MR gas. So therefore it is very close to ideality as you can see from the, uh, as you can see from the, 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 the graph drawn over here. Whereas CO2 has a greater deviation because of the larger uh, MR and hence stronger IDID interaction and therefore a greater deviation from ideality. Similarly, if you have a uh, ammonia gas, you will expect the deviation to be greater. Okay, the deviation from the ideal gas line to be greater because NH3 will have hydrogen bond. Okay, so this side, whether it, it, it intersects or whether it deviates this way, it doesn't really matter. Okay, we are only concerned with the deviation over here. Okay, the negative deviation over here. So all you need to remember is the greater the deviation, the greater the IMF, uh, hence the greater deviation from ideality. So this is one minute of chemistry. See you the next time. Mm -hmm.